Hey guys, this is Simin. In this short video, I'd like to give you some practical instructions on how to set up a digital logbook for your electrical facilities using EcoStructure Facility Expert. EcoStructure Facility Expert is a cloud-based software that works on both smartphone and laptop. So from construction to operation, digital logbook is your must-have asset management tool. It helps you to keep records of important documentations, maintenance schedules, collaborate better, and streamline the equipment maintenance, which is critical for the upkeep of electrical installations. So let's get started and create your very first digital logbook for an existing electrical facility. First of all, type facility expert subscriptions into Google. Click on the link to open the page and scroll down to access the laptop version. From here, you can either create an account if you are a new user or simply log in to your existing account. If you prefer using the app with your smartphone, you can also download the Facility Expert on Google or iOS app stores. It offers the same functionality as the web version. Use exactly the same login for both web and the smartphone app. On the app homepage, you will see an overview of your assets located on the map, as well as the upcoming maintenance actions based on your maintenance plan. One item of equipment or device in your electrical facility equals to one asset in Facility Expert. There are two ways to set up the structure of your electrical assets in Facility Expert. If you have a large number of assets, there is a bulk asset import template you can use to avoid having to enter all the assets manually one by one. You need to enter the name of all your assets in this Excel file according to their hierarchy. You can set up a maximum number of five different levels for your assets. For example, site, building, zone, equipment, and device. Then you need to fill out this family, type, model, and location fields for each asset. Once you have entered all this information, you can send this file back to us and we will take care of the rest, loading the data directly on the backend of the software. To use this tool, just to reach out to your Schneider Electric sales representative. Well, so that's the first way of creating assets. The second way is to create assets directly in the application. Let me show you how to create a digital logbook for the assets in the building. First off, click the plus button then select new asset name your building and choose the type of the building from the list enter the address of your building the building is not created repeat this process but this time create a switchboard for your building first name your switchboard then choose the building as the parent choose electrical equipment as a family. Then select the relevant asset type from the list of mainstream types of the electric equipment provided in Facility Expert. Let's choose LV switchboard switchgear, for example. Then choose the model, which corresponds to the most relevant description of the particular switchboard as asset you are creating. Let's choose Oaken in this example. If you cannot find the model you are looking for in this list, you can simply type the name of the model into the field at the top of the list and apply it. To describe your asset as fully as possible, we provide other fields such as reference, serial number, brand, etc. If available, we recommend that you enter this data to facilitate future asset management. There is also a button here called Apply Template. By applying the template, Facility Expert automatically loads the maintenance checklist and maintenance guide for this particular asset. Let's now create another electrical component, but this time let's do it differently by flashing a product QR code. This is where the mobile app comes in. Log into the app 
using the same account, you will find the option to scan a QR code. If you have a Schneider Electric product with a QR code, scanning this QR code will automatically save the product reference and serial number, which provides the product unique ID in order to facilitate future product support and services. This asset QR code is also a very handy feature for you to quickly locate an asset inside Facet Expert by simply flashing this QR code. Now come back to the asset creation page where you will see that there is now a small arrow next to our newly created building which means that some assets has been created behind this parent asset. Click the arrow will bring you to the two child assets. By the way, you can modify easily these assets by clicking their names. Click edit on the top right corner. And for example, let's modify the hierarchy of this asset. Attach it to the open suite world rather than the site. You can now repeat this process to create all the assets that you want to manage. Facility Expert allows you to manage a document library for each of your assets. Here, let's begin with loading a thumbnail picture of your switchboard asset. Then inside attach the files, you can load all types of documents such as the single line diagram of the electric installation, the list of spare parts, the duplicate drawing of the equipment, or some other photos, for example. And here's a tip. You can use the smartphone app to take a live picture of your equipment. Now here comes my favorite function. Facility Expert can organize the preventive maintenance plan for all your assets making sure that everything is arranged in the correct order. In our example, Facet Expert firstly automatically generates a maintenance plan recommended by the equipment manufacturer, in this case, Schneider Electric. This plan contains a maintenance guide and a checklist of maintenance actions that need to be uh, performed periodically. This is super important for the upkeep of all equipment. So don't forget to click the Apply Template button next time you see it. Everything set up automatically. All you need to do is to set the date on your calendar so that you and your team can be notified prior to each maintenance activity. Well, now let's look at another important setting in the digital law book, the community. This community setting allows you to do two things. Firstly, it allows you to uh, share information with your business partners in the community. And secondly, it allows you to assign tasks to your team members and manage your clients. In, in this example, I am the team manager. I can invite someone to join my team. Here are some short descriptions uh, of the different roles I can choose from. For example, I can assign this person as my technician. I can then give them a specific scope of assets to work on. You can repeat this process to set up a community to allocate your internal and external resources to serve your clients. By the way, the uh, invitation ongoing message will disappear when your invitation is accepted by someone. This person becomes uh, then your team member. Let's look at now how to assign tasks to someone in my team. Let's use the uh, predefined preventive maintenance task. I can choose the exact date to perform this action and set up a reminder. I can then assign this task to the technician in my team. I can also customize the maintenance task by adding or removing some actions in the checklist. The assigned tasks will then notify the technician to carry out the task. 
Imagine now that the technician has completed the task. Then click the complete task button to note down the details of the completed task. They, they enter the task duration, select the actions uh, completed from the checklist and add any comments relating to the maintenance operation. Once the task is completed, you can use another function in Fuzzy Expert to automatically generate a maintenance report. Let's go to the log and select the asset on which the maintenance was performed. You can then easily generate a report containing the key information. This is a very effective way to streamline all routine maintenance operations and ensure everything is well organized. Well, that was a quick overview on how to create a digital logbook for your existing electrical facility. I will walk you through some other functions of Facility Expert in other videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.